Good fellow. Well, bring him out here. Mr. Rod Serling, would you come in, please, and tell it to Groucho? How did you like that introduction? I loved it. I love it. It's alive, but I loved it. Of course it's alive, but I had to say something to fill the time. <laughs> Rod, I've watched your show many times, and I want to tell you it was wonderful. It's a great show. The only thing more spine-chilling than the Twilight Zone is the pedestrian zone around 5 o'clock. <laughs> How long have you been writing, Rod? Oh, since uh, the early days of radio, Groucho, in 1946. You don't look that old. I am. Now, you've won practically all the honors that uh, you can get for television writing. What do you consider your best play? Oh, I think there are three of them that I'm most proud of, Groucho. One would be The Comedian with Mickey Rooney. The other is Patterns. And the third would be Requiem for a Heavyweight, which we just shot as a motion picture in New York City. Oh. Did you direct it? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't direct traffic. That's why I was interested when you introduced me as a director. I've never directed anything. It's not nearly as tough as writing. Let me explain that to you. <laughs> I'm sure not. That is the toughest job of all, the writer. No. Well, they say first came the word. I guess that's, yeah, that's true. That's true, and Shakespeare said it, you know, about Another plays writer. the thing, uh -huh. yes. And uh, he wasn't a bad writer in his day. <laughs> I wouldn't want him today to <laughs> put a show together. You know, he keeps talking about kings and queens all the time. <laughs> well, Rod, you know the purpose of our show, so let's hear what you have to say. What are you going to tell me? Uh, I'd like to tell you, Groucho, about Batista Locatelli. Is that a dish of some kind? <laughs> <laughs> No. Is it some kind of pizza that I no. haven't encountered yet? Batista Locatelli is a waiter in a local restaurant here in town, and uh, uh, I heard him uh, singing uh, oh. once in the restaurant as he was delivering the dishes. And, uh, delivering the dishes to another restaurant? No. <laughs> was waiting table. Oh. But he sang so beautifully, and then upon talking to him, I discovered that uh, he had won several major scholarships, uh, including a, uh, an opera audition. And uh, I was very impressed, and that's why I wanted to come here and tell it to Groucho. Is he, is he here with he's, you? He's backstage. Uh -huh. Do you think he would consent to come out here and I talk to me? I think he would be uh, most delighted, Groucho. Well, never let it be said that I've kept a waiter waiting. <laughs> Patty, would you send Mr. Locatelli in here? Bring him in on a tray so he'll feel at home. <laughs> Groucho, now that I've brought the two of you together, I'd, I'd like... Uh, Batista to tell you all about himself. I've got to get out of here and go back to work. Well, your show is on Friday on CBS. Well, it takes about 24 hours to get ready for it. Mm. Really? I thought you only worked between 5 and 7 in the evening. Isn't that the twilight zone? <laughs> I know it's a 24-hour job, and good luck to you, and Thank thanks you so for much, bringing Groucho. this good luck young man down here.